Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're gonna open another Goodwill blue box. This is one that I got before they shut everything down. Paid $19.99 for this. It is a DIY reuse box. I can't remember, it's like five pounds. Anyway, I thought I had already started recording and I started opening it and realized, ah, oh, I forgot to hit the button. So, here it is. We're gonna open it, I'm gonna go through it, and yeah. I get this question a lot, so I'm gonna address it right up front. I do talk about putting things into lots, and what that is is just like a mixed craft wear, repair kind of lot that I sell. Uh, so send me an email if you're interested in one, and then if you see things that you, that you want to try to buy just individual pieces just send me an email let me know hey i saw this thing and and then we can work something out and i'll send you an invoice so now that we've got that out of the way let's do this okay first impressions let's open it up hmm hmm <laughs> first impressions that's kind of cool uh, see some bear degree on top that's always disappointing but you know, I, I am reminded by viewers, it's a repair lot. So if you get anything good, then just count your blessings. I will. Okay, I mean, nothing's jumping out at me right off the top, but we're gonna dive into this. Okay, I've come to the point in this detangling that I realize this is futile. I'm not gonna continue detangling this because everything here I'm planning on putting in a craft lot anyway. I detest this fishing wire type metal necklace, whatever it is that always gets tangled into everything. I've got feathers, I've got bonus hairs. All right, so all of this is gonna go into a lot. So, if you can see it, we've got a white plastic necklace on a white plastic background. And uh, yeah, it's nothing fancy, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this into a lot. Oh, just, let's see, what have we got here? So we've got this red beaded necklace. I'm, it's kind of tangled. Is it cool or is it just like, nah, I can't decide. It's, uh, I'm trying to figure it out. Ah, what's going on with this thing? Is it this way? I guess it goes like that. Oh, it's almost like our stair ladder, our ladder one from the other day. Only it doesn't ladder up as much. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's kind of neat. Like this would hang at the base of your throat. It's sort of a collar style, so it's not super long. Oh, do I like it or do I not? Um, I'm gonna think about it. Uh, this is a maybe the list. I think it's interesting. I'm gonna have to find a way to display it or take pictures of it that would look good hmm next up we've got this fish necklace with little wooden beads and this part is broken it's an easy fix but I'm gonna go ahead and put this into a lot as well and then these are they're for eyeglasses but it's really pretty, so I might go ahead and try to sell this because someone might be looking for some pretty glass beads. They're not all glass, but nice beaded eyeglass chain. These appear to be some shell, yeah, some nice shell bead necklace. And, ooh, I don't know. I'm going to look this up because I don't know what this would sell for. So there's a possibility I'll sell this. Then we've got this bracelet with these cat's eye type cabochons and these dolphins. It has a magnetic closure, like so. First I thought it was broken, but no, that's the way it's supposed to go. So this goes in somehow, in there. And it's, mm, Oh, the magnet, the magnet part has come off of this side. That's what the deal is. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that into a lot as well. And next, it looks like we've got a, I believe that's Jasper. 
a Jasper cross with some Jasper beads. And, ooh, I, I might try to sell that. That's unusual. It's a nice stone. It's different. It's got a nice barrel. Wait, is that a barrel close? Nope, it's magnetic. I always wonder about this. Like, they don't feel very secure, you know? Like, it would get pulled off so easily. Oh, what do you think? Should I put it in a lot or should I go ahead and try to sell it? I think I'm going to put it in a lot because, like, the, it's, it's, somebody made this. And this little piece didn't get clipped off right and it's going to stab you in the back of the neck. Anyway, that will go into a lot. First up, we've got what looks like probably a handmade, or hand cut, I, I don't know, bracelet that's got this really pretty purple flower and leaves. They're definitely hand, like stamped leather. I really like this. So this is something I'm going to sell. They look like pansies maybe, or the center one kind of looks like a pansy. Sell that. This necklace, I'll probably just put into a lot. It's okay, but it's kind of like, eh, all right. This will go to a lot. And this one is broken, so that goes to a lot. Giant hair bobby pin, a lot. This is a stretchy plastic bracelet. It's got a nice little charm on it. I love that, uh, but I'll go ahead and put that in a lot too. Somebody could pick it apart or sell it. Ugh, bonus hair. Trash. Trash. And we've got another seed. This one's a seed bead eyeglasses chain. Mmm, what to do? I'm going to look it up because I don't sell a whole lot of glasses chains, but this might be something someone likes. And then we've got a hematite bead. And then some yellow cat's eye beads. And then a fun star, glass star. This is something I think I'm going to try to sell. I like that. That's fun. We've got a few earrings off to the side we're waiting on mates for. And then this, I really hope that the rest of these are in there. These are those wine markers. But they've got, it's got a fish, like a glass fish on there. And I love it. So I hope the rest are in there too. Okay, so first up we have oh, more bonus hair. These are kind of a cream color. I don't think they're plastic. They, oh, maybe they are. Anyway, these are going to just go to a lot, I believe. This, once upon a time, was probably pretty cool. Whatever was in there, maybe it's still in the box, but it's got a cool chain that goes through this tube. It's got all these tubes. I guess you could run it through any of the tubes. It makes you almost want to get something and glue it in there. Something random like dentures or something weird that people are like, what a strange necklace. I don't know. Now I'm getting ideas. Get some E, what is that called? E3000 that I've got over there and just start gluing in random stuff. Lego heads and baby teeth. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> Just as an aside, I only said baby teeth, not to be weird, but why do I keep my children's baby teeth? Like, I still have them. Do you? I don't know. What am I going to do with them? Maybe the kids will want them one day. I don't know. <laughs> I know. We'll make a necklace out of them. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Next up, we've got this black chain necklace. It's a little bit tangled up here with this plastic purple faceted drop. And the tag, oh, what does that say? So that says Arden B. I don't know Arden B. So I'll have to look it up. But if it's, hmm, I don't know. I mean, I think it's cool enough to sell. But I don't know. 
maybe the plastic thing will clean up nicer. It just kind of looks kind of, uh, it's not bad. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll sell it. This will go in my maybe pile. Next up is a necklace that has a sassy tassel and two faux little plastic diamonds that are locked up in a cage, separated for eternity, destined to stare through cages at one another but never be able to touch. Um, yeah, so this necklace is, well, where's the other part of this? Because I see a clasp here. Maybe you just clasp it on wherever, I don't know. I will probably put these star-crossed lovers in a lot just because, I, yeah. And then there's this, which I think, yeah, is that coconut shell? Every time I think it's one thing, it's something else. I think coconut shell is darker, maybe? <laughs> but it's some kind of wood or shell. These are definitely wood beads up here. This I'm gonna put into a lot. And then ugh, fabric. All right, I'm weird about the fabric stuff unless it's in really good shape, and this fabric is definitely not. It's kind of, ugh. I mean, the, the beads and the, the big pendant is kind of cool, but I just, the fabric kind of grosses me out. So, meh, a lot. Okay, so yeah, all of this is going to a lot as well. And then we've got this necklace. It's got a cool pendant. It's got this really cool pendant, and it looks like it's probably silver, but then look, the chain is like, ah, it's coming ap apart. So, let's see if we see any marks on it. So, I didn't see a mark on this part, but I saw a mark on the clasp, which is 925. So, I have a couple options. I'll probably put the chain in my silver scrap bag. And then the pendant, I can always take it and put it onto another chain, maybe clean it up and look for a mark on that. Let's see. I wanna see if it will come off the chain because sometimes they design them where they don't. See, that's probably why it's just marked on the clasp too. See, I'll have to take this jump ring off so I can take this off, maybe shine it up, put it on another chain, and then we're good to go. This is one I probably would uh, shine up. Look at the green there. I mean, it looks like verdigris. So that's probably what's gonna happen with this. These shells will go to a lot. Got a little medallion here. This medallion will go to a lot as well. As will this piece of a bracelet. We've got a wooden, it's like wooden clay beads or something. Oh, what do you think about these? I don't, I don't personally like them, but they're different. I like, I mean, the colors are interesting, they feel like clay beads that somebody made or something. I don't know. They're not wood after all. What do you think? What do you think? I'm gonna put them in a lot. And then this looks like, it looks like this part is silver, but then it looks like this part is copper. So is there something special? Oh, here we go. This says Sabona which I don't know what that means. Nothing over here. It looks like, almost like those magnet type. Hmm, oh wait, we got something inside here. Sabona London. Okay, Sabona London. Oh wait, we got more over here. Registration number made in USA. Registration number made in USA. Scoochie, scoochie. Sabona London. So this Sabona, this brand makes copper and magnetic jewelry and they do have a silver plated copper inside bracelet that they sell for about $50. So I could clean this one up and maybe sell it for less than that. go to a lot. Then we've got these shell, the shell necklace. 
I've said before I was gonna put these into lots and y'all have said you should sell that you should sell that so maybe I'll try to try to sell this this stretch bracelet will go to a lot as well and then three chip like semi-precious stone earring or not earrings oh gosh you guys I've got quarantine brain necklaces <laughs> so we looks like we've got some just straight quartz peridot and rose quartz and if ever i misspeak y'all usually are happy to tell me but i appreciate it but i try my best to not misspeak so this one for sure is peridot 99 rose quartz and regular quartz so those ones i will sell unless my sister needs them i usually give stuff like this to her but i may try to go ahead and sell these then there's this bracelet that has got some nice beading. I'm trying to unbutton it for you. I like the beading on this one. I like the hearts, I like the blue. It does have like a fabric-y back, which usually grosses me out. It's kind of meh, but it's not terrible. So I may go ahead and try to sell this. It's cute, I like the, the blues. I like the blues. And then we've got this wraparound I'm guessing bracelet. Ooh, that'll button in there. Thoughts? Would you go ahead and sell that? Do people still wear stuff like this? I don't know. I guess I'm gonna try to sell it. I like the colors. I like the greens and the pinks together. That's really nice. So I'll try to sell that. Oh gosh, here we go. Dirty tassels. are these let's see those are glass and these may be either glass or ceramic uh those i might go ahead and give to my sister because she uses glass beads they're these ones are kind of a cognac colored like a dark brown honeyish but uh dark syrup colored so i might give these to my sister for some of her crafting and then these are probably glass these blue chip and that's also something I might give to her, see if she can use that. I like this wood cross. I think it is unique looking. And so I think I'm gonna sell that. There is a, looks like it says Ray Wright on the back. So that's something I'm gonna have to look up. Hmm, this one I will probably put in a lot. Oh, I don't know. Now I'm thinking I might wanna try to sell it. Okay, I'm gonna try to sell this one. Um, it's vintage, it says Hong Kong, so made in Hong Kong in there so this is a nice vintage one i mean it's got a little wear to the hinge but i'm gonna go ahead and try to sell that after all these ones i'll put to a lot lot and you know how i feel about dirty tassels i mean when, when is this a good idea come now who's like i'm gonna make some jewelry with these tassels that give them a week or two and they're gonna look like that and expect people to pay buku money um for them let's see what do we have here mar sol amor what is that like the sea the sun and the heart the beads are kind of nice but the tassel is disgusting i mean what does a person have to do to make a tassel look like this seriously what are you doing we're not gonna okay these will go to lots over there and this is a cute little flamingo necklace the little legs move it's cute and this one, sorry, you're getting your neck all caught in the chain. This one is made by Icing, so I'm gonna try to sell that. I think it's cute. I mean, the finish is not amazing on it, but there are people that love flamingos, and so I think I can get a few bucks for that. And then this, is this, I guess this is a ring? It looks like, maybe it's a ring. Okay, that's different, yeah, I guess so. Looks like just a little chain ring. I don't think I've seen that before. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll try to sell it. And then this I will put into a lot. It looks like it's in fair shape. It just looks like it's been run over. But other than looking like it's been run over, it's in good shape. <laughs> I mean like the leather part is, is in good shape. You could probably reshape that fairly easily with some heat. 
and love. All right, this necklace looks like it's made out of polymer clay with all kinds of fun little fruits and flowers. Somebody have fun pressing stamps into clay and making all kinds of, it makes me think of Wreck-It Ralph and like the Candy Kingdom. Um, so I will definitely sell this because I think this is definitely almost like a kawaii sort of thing if you know what I'm talking about. This one looks like some little pearls that I'll see if my sister can use. So here we've got a three strand chain and pearl necklace with a toggle clasp. And then we've got two dolphins swimming together. One is the evil twin and one is the good twin. You can tell because the evil twin has red eyes and the good twin has clear eyes because they, the clear eyed one has nothing to be ashamed of. And the red eyed one is hiding nasty secrets, but forever they are locked in the tryst of twinniness. Anyway, they're twinning. There we go. So these dolphins I will try to sell. Got this bracelet that it's kind of cool this part but then the finish is rubbing off so that will go to a lot this is one of those magnetic wraparound type necklace bracelets that will go to a lot as well as will this I I like this might think about it all right so we've got this cool big panel I don't know part of this bracelet and then these cool panels and then it stretches to put on I mean, the stretch is pretty strong. The stretch is strong with this one. Eh, maybe I'll sell it. It's kind of cool. This one, uh, it's got some missing stones. So this will go to a lot as well. Got a little charm there. That charm looks like a vanity. And I will put this one into a lot. Well, we've got a few things here going into a lot. So all of these will go to the lot as well. Wow. Got a lot going in there. Okay, we've got a cool vintage bracelet here. Let's take a peek at it. it. Looks like a buckle. It's got all these panels. Looks like maybe some residue. Or it just, I don't know that that's rust, but maybe I'll look at it closer. And then when you open it, you go like that. And then when you close it, listen. Fun, right? Okay, so I don't see any maker's mark on this, but I think I think this is something that could sell. Boop, like so. Very cool. Very Hollywood Regency. Can Hollywood Regency be for jewelry too? I know it's a house-like style of decor, but it makes me think of Hollywood Regency. Then this necklace, this one's from Claire's. It's got, you know, some of the silver tone rubbing off, so that will go to a lot. We're gonna pour out the rest. All of this is going to go, well, I'll give that to my sister. All of this. Well, maybe let me check at this one. All of this is going to go to a craft lot. Got some little rosary rings and a Christmas tree and stuff like that. So all this is going to go to a craft lot. We've got a little brooch here that says number one hairdresser. That will go to a lot. I wish I knew what the rest of this looked like. I, I think it would have been cool. It's definitely got some verdigris. But I love these cool cat's eye looking cabochons. They're definitely older. Very cool. I'll put that to the side. This little teddy bear 
pendant I will probably also put into a lot. It's it's cute. I don't know. Maybe if I, if I find a little chain, maybe I'll throw a chain on it and try to sell it. It's pretty cute. So all of this will go to a lot. Just kind of randoms. Random stuff. Angel in my pocket. Some more medallions. This is a scarf clip. And this is one that I will probably try to sell. I, I like the, the floral motif around it. I like this kind of shell look even though it's not really shell but it's pretty and then this necklace is kind of fun i like the beads and everything but i just i don't like this cord but i like the rest of it but i'll put this in a lot too and then this is a uh, house houses by lucinda or house pins by lucinda i've sold one or two of these before but I'll probably put this one, I don't know, I'm gonna look it up because it's got a Christmas theme, so I'll look this one up. I know that there are people that like these. These are pure, Pura Vita bracelets. I don't know what they sell for really, but the ones I have sold, I've sold when I've had multiples and sold to a, a viewer, so meh. And then we've got some kitty cat charms. Look at this one. This one has its paw up, like it's about to flush the toilet. And if you have not had the joy of listening to the song, It's a Cat Flushing a Toilet, then ask your Alexa to play, It's a Cat Flushing a Toilet, and you will be delighted. And if your children hear it, they will play it on repeat for a long time. There's a video too, so check it out. <laughs> it's a cat, meow, flushing the toilet, it's a cat, meow, flushing the toilet, it's a cat, meow, flushing the toilet, cat, flushing the toilet. <laughs> Those are gonna go to a lot. I got a couple brooches here. This one I will try to sell. It's got these black flowers. Oh no, it's missing a stone. So that means lot. All right, how about this one? This one looks like, what are they? Oh gosh, like leaves. <laughs> I can't think of what they're called though. Oh my goodness. So they're plumes, right? These ones are more like plumes because there's a crown. Maybe these are ostrich plumes. Yeah, they're like feathers. That's what they are. Oh, they're not like leaves. Then there is a maker's mark right there. Look at the loop. That is B and W. And I will have to look that up because I can't think of what that is off the top of my head. B and W. So it looks pretty good. It looks like it's got one dead stone there. That's when those rhinestones turn dark. And uh, it's going to rebel against the rest of them eventually, but right now he's just recruiting others for his dastardly plans, but I think it's still really pretty, and um, I'm going to try to sell that. B and W. Okay, I'm going to look that one up. So I just wanted to insert this in here because I found out that this brooch is a Butler and Wilson Prince of Wales feather brooch. I see one on Worth Point, but I don't have Worth Point, so I don't know how much it sold for. But Butler and Wilson, uh, their brooches can go for a lot. B and W. Just take off Prince of Wales just to see what their brooches sell for. So here are a few Butler and Wilson brooches. Butler Wilson, um, hundreds, sometimes a hundred. This one's seventy-five. So, so I think it's going to be a pretty good sale, even with that dead uh, uh, rhinestone in there. This sweet little happy face is gonna go on my backpack. These are, oh my gosh, what are these again? There's some kind of like nut that have been dyed pink. Is it a nut? Oh my gosh, one of y'all is gonna remind me. I, I just can't remember what everything is all the time. So this is some sort of nut or seed or something like that that has been dyed pink. So that's what that is, that will go to a lot. All right, so basically, Everything else we've got are solo earrings, which I will show you just because that's what we're here for, right? I am here to show you the things. And it's unfortunate that this little fishy didn't have all of its friends with it. Same with this, I love this earring. This one, oh my goodness, I love it. I feel like I've seen this one before though. <laughs> Maybe it was in a different box. Oh, now I need to dig through my piles. Who knows, it's probably long gone by now. Okay, so all of that will end up going into a lot as well.
All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite piece from today's box was, and I will talk to you on the next one. Go over there, leave that thumbs up or that thumbs down. Let me know how you're doing, and I will, yeah, like I said, see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.